In this video, we're going to talk about how to choose a sponsor when joining eXp Realty. My name is Tamila Rajasingham, licensed realtor with eXp Realty Brokerage. Subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and hit the notification bell to get updates on our new content. I have Rachel Moreno here with me, who's from our group, and she's based in Houston, Texas. And please, Rachel, introduce yourself and tell us how you got into real estate. Hey, so I got into real estate. I've always wanted to be in real estate, but right after college, I went straight to healthcare. I got a job in the hospital, uh, made relationships with doctors and the patients, international patients. So that was great. But I still wanted to go back to real estate. So I did. I finally decided to get my license here in Houston. So I serve the greater Houston area and Rochelle in Texas, which is, which is a little bit south of Houston and Pearland. And so got my license in 2018. Um, 2019 began with one of the big, more known brokerages where I thought that I should, should be or that was the best place because they were so well known. Um, that didn't work out very well. And 2020, I worked with a small brokerage and Love them, nothing bad to say about them, but they just didn't have what I was looking for. Neither of those two brokerages really had what I was looking for. So um, here we are. I'm still doing real estate and I do real estate full time now. I decided not to go back to work at the hospitals, um, even though I love the patients and all that. But I love real estate. I've always loved real estate. So, you know, I'm, I'm a big believer on do what you love. So here we are. I'm still doing real estate full time with EXP Realty and I am, I'm loving it. I'm loving where I am. I love it. And so how did you hear about eXp Realty? Sure. So yeah. I heard about uh, eXp Realty through a, another agent, and she's up north in Houston. And I met her through a video. Um, it's a social media marketing. It's a video program that we did together. And we were part of that program. And then I saw that after we ended the program, she she's in re, uh, eXp Realty. And I reached out, you know, just asked her, how's it going? What do you like? And she had nothing but good things to say, nothing but amazing things. But I, what made me reach out to her was that I saw that her career took off. <laughs> her career uh -huh. took off yeah. uh, when I saw that she was talking about EXP and just saying how much she loves it. So, yeah. you know, I want to see, <laughs> I want to yeah. know what she loves. But yeah, she had nothing but great things to say about it. Yeah. No, that's awesome. I love that you had you were curious about it and you were you reaching out trying to get that information. So good for you. And when did you realize, you know, and you were with a couple of other brokerages and you had your license for a little bit now. When did you realize this is the time you want to take this to the next level? Why did you think this was the right time? Sure. So the very large brokerage that I first uh, worked with, I think I felt like they were too large to help a new agent or mm. I guess you know, to guide someone who's, yeah. who's, who knew. And I felt that I need, at that time, I thought that I needed that face-to-face uh, -face interaction. You know, I thought that was so important, but later I learned that that's not true. You don't need that. <laughs> um, the second brokerage, um, they just didn't have the technology that I was looking for. Mm. Great small brokerage here in Houston, Texas. They just didn't have the technology. And that's what I was looking for. I needed to step it up because I do social media marketing. Mm. That's how I promote my business and market my business. And uh, that's how I give value to buyers and sellers. And so I saw that EXP's technology and mm -hmm. the group that I joined, their technology was super amazing, which is exactly what I was looking for. And I researched before I, I, I made any moves. So I researched and I knew that EXP had the technology that I was looking for to step it up, to really step it up. I love that. And what about the EXP model attracted you? And I know there's, there's a, so many different components to why EXP works. So sure, um, the EXP model, I do love the revenue share. I yeah. love the fact that, you know, you help people join EXP and everybody wins at the same time. So I'm, yeah. I'm a big firm believer on multiple streams of income as well. I love that. Why, yeah. why stick to one when there's so many opportunities? So I do love it. And I love that um, EXP is not taking anything away from any of the agents. I feel like it's giving back to so many people. Yeah. So I love that. I truly love that. I love their program. And then... The technology is what had me sold, but everything else is just a huge plus to me. You know, I see agents succeeding yeah. with their programs too. So I love that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, that's great. And I think that 
um, often that's what the process it takes for us to find something that works for us, right? And the moment, and you is, you're a very great example of that person who looks at, you know, different examples and figures out, you know, this is what I'm looking for. These are my strengths. And these are some of the places that I, that I would love, you know, that I need help in, in terms of taking my business to the next level. And that you aligned yourself with that broker. It's just going to take you there. Um, and when, you know, when you talk about the process of finding a mentor, what, what kind of um, research were you doing? What process did you take to find that right, uh, right sponsor? Sure. That's an awesome question. I love that because I did lots of research. I did lots of research before I decided on a mentor. I, I just found, so, when I say I did research, I actually reached out. I reached out to agents that were on different teams. Um, nobody really had anything bad to say about their teams. They're all pretty happy where they were, but I knew the specifics of what I was looking for. I wanted to find a team that was taking action with the type of things that I want to do and I'm ready to do, like yeah. social media marketing and stuff like that, um, who's actually doing stuff. And I was also looking for a team that was closing deals. Yeah. Even as a new agent, yeah. uh, a seasoned agent, I was just looking for a team that was actually taking action because that's why i'm here i'm not here to sit around <laughs> i'm here to like let's go to step it up and so i did i reached out to teams and i asked very specific questions yeah. um there were times where i was hesitant to reach out but something told me you know what they can either just say leave me alone <laughs> they don't want yeah. to they will answer but i thought to myself this is for me and my family i just yeah. it's just a few questions i just need to know and so like i said nobody had anything bad to say those teams just were not looking we're not doing what I was looking for. And then I found your team. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. My team and it's amazing. And I, I researched, I looked and I observed and, you know, I just studied everyone and I watched everyone and I am very happy with the decision that I made. I'm, I'm happy here. I'm loving it. And how many people did you speak to, Rachel? I know when you told me that it blew my mind, the amount of work and how long you were doing this research for. Sure. So I did the research for about two months and I reached out to about seven agents. Wow. And no, the good for you. And I love that. I think that's where I, I want to uh, speak to is, you know, when you talk about how do you find a sponsor, it's about asking the right questions, ask the same questions again to different people and ask people. And, you know, and often people think that you want to just align yourself with the top producer and it doesn't always work like that. Right. And I think you want to go to people that has the right skill set in a certain area that you're looking for. And you did just that. And I, and I love that. Um, and when you're talking about looking for, uh, a sponsor, um, what it was important to you? I know that you mentioned a little bit about, you know, aligning yourself with people who are doing the work, who are, you know, social media marketing heavy. Um, was there anything that you felt was really important in the type of the way they answered your questions? And I know, I remember when you contacted me and you had very particular, you know, you were looking for very particular answers to your questions. And I'm, and I'm, I'm glad that you did that. And because you were someone who you wanted the best for your business, you know, and that's, that was very important. And it was seen through that you were very determined to have your answer, your questions answered the way that you wanted them answered, you know? So I did, uh, I felt like with my sponsor, I found myself relatable. You mm -hmm. mentioned you were fairly new mm -hmm. and you're taking action. That's, yeah. that's what had me sold. And like I said, that's just what I'm looking for. And so when I asked specific questions, I remember I asked you, is this something that I can follow? Like, is it doable? <laughs> yeah. Is the coaching uh, that's provided to our team, uh, the training, is it something I can do? And you were like, yeah. yes. Yeah. 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 That's good. And then um, there were just little things that were very relatable. Um, yes. And I felt like, you know, they're taking action, consistent action. And yes. I love that. That's the part of the team that I want to be on, yeah. someone who's actually moving and, and has a schedule and is, you know, doing their work, whether it's social media or um, whatever, just moving their business. So. Absolutely. No, I love that. And, you know, um, I, I, that's why I come back to is like, you know, always look at people who's doing great things and you want to also lead by example so that when you're, I know that some of your interests are eventually to build your own team and to lead by example as well. Right. Um, and I know we touch base on a regular basis and I hear all the great things that you're starting to do. And I'm, I love seeing a lot of the new content that you're putting out on YouTube. So how's it going so far? And if people were to follow your channel, what should they be keeping an eye out for? So it's going great. It's going great. My um, my YouTube channel has it's it's changed because of the yeah. training that we've received. It's, gotcha. um, it's it's just amazing training. My Facebook as well. Um, then with the whole EXP in general, with the training, 
um, the training that's offered by the Texas team is amazing. Um, I mean, I, that was kind of what I was a little skeptical about, whether they're going to answer me because it's not like a face-to-face -face brokerage. Yeah. You know, I wondered, were, are they going to answer me or just yeah. like, leave me, <laughs> you know, with my questions? But no, it's been amazing. And it is a lot of information that they share with you. So everything that you need to know or want to know about your business and how to do this, how to do that, it's there. You just have to yeah. ask. You know, and yeah. I'm that kind of person that puts myself there. I will ask. So I love the, that. The Texas team, that part is going great. Uh, the Wolfpack team is going amazing as well. I'm following all the training. And with my mentor, she's been amazing. My mentor is close to where I am, which is south, uh, close to, she's more towards Angleton, Texas. And so she reached out. She's been super helpful. And I've been learning so much from her. And I love that. That's super amazing. I didn't think I would get all that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah get all that but i'm like wow i'm just so i'm just happy i'm 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 loving it you know the, yeah. the confidence that of knowing that your business is going to grow so. yeah i can i can feel the energy and happiness in you and even when i check in with you i love that you know our model is so crazy i'm based in toronto you're in houston texas mm -hmm. and i don't know a lot about your market i have you know i have agents who i've been working with closely like jacob who's based in your area and you know i understand some of this uh you know the industry and that the way the real estate's working in houston but it's amazing that in in our brokerage you're able to be paired up with a mentor who's able to kind of guide you on a transactional level but that's not stopping you from growing your business, scaling your, scaling your business and collaborating with people internationally, right? And I, I love that about the EXP model. And then I know, Rachel, you wanted to ask me some questions, so feel free to go ahead. Okay, so, so how, are you, how are you building your team? Yeah, and I think for me, it's having a strategy in place. And um, I love that you asked this question and it's really about, you know, putting out information in ways that can um, that speaks to who you are as a brand. And I, I'm going back to this again is by leading by example. And um, I have a, a formal training in marketing and I'm putting together content, whether it's YouTube, um, Instagram, Facebook, online, putting out content that speaks to my brand, a story, a narrative that I'm talking about in ways that this is the type of work that, that I'm going to be able to learn and provide to people that are on my team. And also, um, it doesn't matter what phases of the real estate journey that you're on. And so for me, I want to capture them and I want to do videos on them and share them with people. And I'm still very much like you, Rachel. I'm at the learning phase, but I think that what sets us and everyone apart is the mindset that we have. And I'm, I want to keep my team accountable and I want to motivate and inspire them to do a lot of great things because obviously, you know, being a part of our team resources, we're not ever short of all these trending, amazing resources that we have available and training, especially through a lot of the stuff that Mike Sherrard gives us through the Agent Wolfpack team. So we have all these tools available to us. And I, I want to align myself with people who are able to take action and do them consistently and see and celebrate, you know, all the successes together. And I, I think that's what I'm doing right now. And um, in some of the other ways that that's what's working for me is, um, you know, doing some of that clubhouse and um, mm -hmm. Zoom recording trainings that I'm doing with Jacob and partnering pe people well, there's not even in just the GTA, but internationally and putting together content on a marketing level, on a level that, that, you know, um, I love the way that Jacob and I are working too, is creating content that is relatable and it's peer to peer too, right? We're, you know, we're learning and we want to able to share and create a platform where other agents can jump in, ask questions, join in the conversation. Um, and, you know, we built together, together, we, you know, built a 12 session, six weeks, um, you know, training, new realtor training, we're providing content. And I think that's where some of our, some of the way that I'm attracting and building my team. That's right. Session and Thank I you. love them all. They're so informational and I love it. I'm so glad that you're, you're posting that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. You know, when you're in Clubhouse, that hour is so jam packed, but when you do a recording, it's so much more condensed and we're trying our best. But, you know, ultimately, Rachel, a lot of the way um, I'm, you know, building my team is creating impactful and quality content so that other people can resonate with and giving information. And so, and again, learning in the process and working with people on my team. That's awesome. I know I'm in the right place. <laughs> yeah, of course. I'm excited about that. Yeah. And so I know that, you know, sometimes we think about growing our team international and 
that's that's amazing to even think about that but you're already doing that yeah no that's a great question rachel i think for me when you think about growing internationally it's about understanding the exp model so with our group as you know rachel we have access to uh courses on agent attraction so first of all before you go and start meeting with people and explaining to them about the exp model you want to be you want to understand it first and you want to approach it from an ethical perspective and as you know i'm someone who i would share with them on an honest level of what i'm working on and what i'm good at but there's you i've noticed that about our model is that there's it's complex and there's a lot to it um and i think it's really important to understand that model before you start talking about it and i think for me um it's and it's different uh you know are it's very similar in a in a in an overarching way but in the way that you know mentorship program and a lot of other mm-hmm. structured uh the way that the program itself or the training is laid out it's a little bit different and it's important to understand that so i think that's what i'm doing first and also uh you know whether it's youtube or whether it's instagram using hashtag that's relevant to the the people that i'm trying to reach um and i think because i'm focused on you know uh, providing value in a way that it's about scaling your business and providing a social media marketing attraction marketing in a way that it's not just um just targeting a certain area like toronto and it's not very transaction heavy and it's really about building a, a larger business and scaling your business so i think i'm creating i'm focused on creating content and adding keywords especially in particularly youtube because i want that organic search and i um and i'm having people you know coming to me and asking me to me do a one on one with me and to learn more about that exp model and the way that this is why it's so important that you understand that model is because there's a lot of exp agents out there and a lot of people like yourself is a great example you met with a number of people and you want to be that person who understands the model and you explain it the best way possible but you'll also notice that sometimes there's some people you may never relate to and that's okay whether it's through personality they just didn't understand the information maybe they just got nervous that you're not in the geographical area and that's okay because you want to align yourself with people that you know whatever the your able to provide them um is what they're looking for so i think that's the most important it's not about and you know mike and i have this conversation it's not about you know quantity right the amount of people you attract is about that quality and you know and if you understand our model the frontline agents that you have you know it's so amazing to have them but if they're not motivated to do work and there isn't a lot in it for you either right and that's why it's so important that you treat these people as team members and that you provide value and you motivate them to do good work um so that you're kind of working together towards this one goal rather than you know you sign them on as sponsor and that's why I wanted to do this video is you know there is an effort and a process to finding a sponsor and you know it's not just somebody who introduced you to EXP but who influenced you to join EXP and who do you align with and who's going to take you to the next level and who is going to motivate you um and i think that that's a part that's often missing when people talk about sponsorship um because sponsor is one thing and a mentor is another and i think uh, understanding the difference is 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 important as well i felt like how is this team going to help me grow <laughs> which is what i was looking for you know so how is this team going to help me grow what's in it for me so yeah, yeah, yeah. i see what you're saying on knowing how to explain that to others properly so that, that's that's good yeah okay. and you know uh, what about the exp model that in particularly that was uh, that attracted me to them is very similar to the things that you were saying i love that you know exp's tagline and their motto is about the future of real estate and i aligned with that because i know we're in a world that you know with the pandemic and so many things happening it's like a very pandemic proof model and it's forever changing and this brokerage is is made for us to to withstand all of those kind of changes and i and i wanted to align myself with something like that so that that I'm part of that excitement and that future um and also the tools uh and not a lot of people talk about this because a lot of people even with the EXP don't use it i think the other day i was in a training and they said only 50% of agents are using it i'm not sure if it's pertaining to a province or nationally um or in just in north america but that's huge a lot of people are coming to EXP because of kb core and you know having access to a free website that's idx integrated to mls system that's lead gen bringing you leads and and nurturing them and converting them and there's a process and it's all in one place and people don't understand you know how we sense of that program is and how robust and integrated it is and people are um people are leveraging it so i think that that's a really big bonus for having and that's just one tool you know there's so much more things that we have access to and i i think that's one thing that 
pulled me in, even though it was scary, right? It's really overwhelming when you go into KB Core and trying to learn. So um, it'll definitely, it, that's one program. I feel like if up front, if you take advantage of it, it's only going to just help you move your business super fast, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and I think that, and the last thing I wanted to leave you with is really that taking that multiple, um, you know, multiple source of income to another level, right? Creating wealth. And to me is that, and, and it's not only this way, but it's through that international collaboration and that doesn't have to be all local, you know, and real estate after we think about, oh, we're serving this geographical area and it sticks at that. But I think when you think about a business, I think about uh, it's limitless to to a border. Right. And it's about ideas that work in different places that could work um, elsewhere. And I think going and finding that information, working with people that are going to help you gather that information. So that's important for me. But um, I'm so happy that you were able to join me in this conversation. There was a lot of things that we unpacked. And I think that, you know, if anybody has questions that are watching, feel free to leave those questions in our comment in the video below. And in the description, we'll add a link to some of our other videos. We're talking about EXP as well. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to myself or Rachel for a uh, one-on-one. -on -one. We're happy to show you some of this, uh, you know, tools and resources that we have access to. Um, and I think that, you know, in such a short amount, how we're seeing success and how we're moving our business forward. Um, so we're happy to to connect with anybody and thank you so much Rachel for you know finding time to meet with me I really appreciate it and I'm so happy to have you on our team awesome